So we want to solve the following problem. Let's say you have a, a right triangle that looks like this. How do we know it's a right triangle, by the way? Because we've got this little funny symbol in the corner that always tells us it's a right triangle. And the problem will have a number here that that's 12. The problem will have a number there that that's 9. That means that, that this is a length 12 and this is a length 9. Uh, by the way, my, my picture isn't drawn to scale, so you have to bear with me here a little bit. Okay. And um, the missing length we're going to call C, okay? And that's what we want to find. Well, notice that C is the, the length opposite of that, uh, of that uh, angle, so it's the hypotenuse. So because this is a right triangle, and because you know two of these sides and you need to know the third one, um, the, the Pythagorean theorem applies. So all you have to do is you have to say, okay, C squared is equal to A squared plus B squared. That's the formula you have to remember, the equation. We're trying to solve for C squared, right? And we're going to say that these guys are A and B. Okay? So all we do is we say C squared is equal to, let's say A is equal to 12. 12 squared plus 9 squared. We're going to say B is equal to 9. Okay? So then C squared is equal to 144 plus 81. So then C squared is equal to 200. And 25. So now you know what c squared is, but in order to find c, you have to, when you're solving this equation, you do the opposite. The opposite of a square is a square root, okay? So you have to take the square root, right? Uh, so then c is equal to the square root of 225, and you can just pop that in your calculator, and what you'll get is 15. So this is actually equal to 15, okay? Now you see it kind of makes sense because because we said that the hypotenuse is always going to be the longest side of the triangle. And look, it is the longest side. I mean, it may not be drawn that way because my art work isn't very good, but, but the length of it is the longest side. Okay? And you can see that this, is, you know, this is, can be kind of useful if you're doing some kind of measuring in the yard or the backyard. and You, know, you have two lengths of a triangle and it's a right triangle. And by the way, it has to be a right triangle, okay? Then you can do something like this. In this case, we're solving for C. Now, one thing I want to point out to you is uh, notice I, did, I said it didn't really matter which one was A and which one was B and you can see why here. In this one I, I said 12 was A and 9 was B but if I had flipped that for whatever reason and said this one was B and this one was A it's not going to matter in the answer because they're added together. You just square them and add them up and it really doesn't matter and that's why I said over here you label one leg A and you label the other leg B. It doesn't matter which leg is which as long as, as, long as you make sure that, that these are the legs you're talking about. And you'll get the answer uh, correct either way. Well, let's go ahead and, and work another one.